Alright, I'd like to show something off on this map since I never really show it off or even bother to show it at all or do it. But there's a secret over here. You've got to rush to it right away because it only stays open for 30 seconds and then that will come down. So I just want to show that because I usually don't get that secret because I don't care enough to, like, you know, bother doing it. Because at the end of the day, it is just a little bit of ammo, but it does exist, so that was my purpose for showing that. Figured I might as well, huh? Usually the first thing I do is kill the Rachnatron towards the start there, get that whole sequence of events going. Here's another usage of uh, waiting for Romero to play the music, and I would say that's one of the more nostalgic tunes for me in this game, because it... Uh, Reminds me of, again, like I said when Sparks was with me, it reminds me of fourth grade and not wanting to do my history homework because um, I really hated that history class. It was one of the first classes I ever really, really struggled with in school. Because I just, I just didn't get it. you think I would get it, but I just didn't. A lot of that shit didn't make sense to me and the teacher wasn't, uh, wasn't too kind either. So that's probably another reason why it was as difficult as it was. Okay, I want that to open so I can do that. I didn't kill all of them. That sucks. Um, now that I think about it, I would like to go back to the mod talk a little bit and talk about um, Doom the way it did, that series that started back in... Uh, it started in like 2008, I think, but um, it was released in 2011. What Doom the way it did is basically exactly what it says on the tin. Mappers try and emulate the style of um, the mappers in its software and try to make maps that could basically be passed off as maybe a, an alternate reality version of Doom. And I really like the concept because, um, you know, Doom's maps are timeless. I mean, some of them are kind of pissy and bleppery and shitty and pooey, but, you know, like John Romero's uh, Episode 1 maps, a lot of people will agree that those are some of the best maps ever produced for a first-person shooter. You know, John Romero's got a very distinctive style that just works really well with a first-person shooter. So, to emulate that style and make maps with it, you know, that's really cool. And, um, that's basically the aim of Doom the way it did is to try and emulate John Romero and all the other mappers, you know, Sandy Peterson, American McGee, Tom Hall, even though he didn't do too much mapping, stuff like that. And it was it was a really cool wad. It was one of the more major releases of 2011 that uh, went over extremely well. You know, people loved that. And um, I concur. I played through a like a beta version when it was like at the time that it was new, and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, but it turns out the beta version is a lot different from the final version. I mean, obviously, but the, a lot of maps were swapped out. So I ended up playing the final version uh, last year, around this time last year. Because I was trying to take, I mean, I was, I was busy with Doom again, but I was also trying to take my mind off of a, a few things that were happening at that point in time. Because, um... My dog Daisy, if you remember her, she was uh, ill at that time with, um, she was having seizures due to a brain tumor, and her health was declining over time. So I was just trying to, you know, take my mind off of things, and, um, you know, bless her soul, she passed away in December. And, you know, just a week later, that's when I started doing my Doom 20th Anniversary LP, so, I mean, I don't like to let my emotions seep into my work, but, um... If I seemed a little off during that LP, that's probably why, is because I had lost a family member. And um, looking back, it's kind of funny because I was just comparing my old Doom LPs to my newer ones, and even my Doom Revisited LP still suffers a bit from some of my uh, more unfortunate trademarks, such as a monotone voice. I try not to be so monotone, but I noticed that even in the Doom Revisited LP, which was, you know, above and beyond, the uh, original Doom LP I did, and just about everything, it still suffered a little bit from kind of, you know, me droning. And I, I hope that in this one I've improved on that. I've got, hopefully my voice has been a, a bit more dynamic because I um, enjoy, you know, not sounding like I'm dead all the time. And I think what, what might have helped a little bit is that um, 
using Skype has become almost like a permanent fixture in TG, you know, my circle of friends there, and I have no idea how I'm going to get out of this one. Oh, here we go. I'll just do this. <laughs> I really hate when I get like a million Revenant rockets following me and I can't do shit about it. It sucks. I'm going to kill these dudes. Really, I could just get out of here. I think I've gotten everything I need to get. <laughs> or do I need the red key? Did I, well, I don't have the red key, do I? Oh, that's right. It's over here. Duh. <laughs> I'm silly. You have to freaking make me kind of silly. Yeah, see, situations like that, I just use the BFG. The rocket launcher does work pretty well, but I just prefer to use the BFG to try and really clear things out. But to get back on topic with um, Doom the way it did, I played through it, and it, it really is good. A lot of the maps do resemble, um, uh, you know, John Romero's style amongst, you know, all the other mappers. I keep saying John Romero, but he, I mean, he really is, like, the key mapper. You know, he was fantastic. Alright, fuck this room. Really hate when there's, like, a million... Pain elementals in one room. I just wanted to kill these guys because you don't have to open that up, but I figured I would just to show it. Because why not? I've become a little more lenient towards showing things, even if I don't particularly like them. When you go down here, you can get teleported up there. I, I usually don't even bother with this area, but there is a few goodies up here, so I might as well, huh? It's always nice, you know? to show off everything, especially since, again, since I was so rushed with the last LP, I felt like I couldn't show off everything because I just had to hurry, 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 you know? Kill that dude. Um, in the next video, I'll go ahead and I'll completely cover uh, my thoughts on Doom the way it did and whatnot. Let me just go back and make sure I got everything. So I don't want to leave without collecting all the goodies. I like to make sure I've got everything. I pretty much got everything. Just want to make sure, though. Do love this music, though. It's probably, if not for Map 10, it's probably the most nostalgic song in the game for me. And you know what? It's it's funny because both Map 10 and this and this music have um, songs by Bobby Prince that are kind of more obviously taken from uh, uh, the musical source that they're from. Like um, the Demon's Dead really does resemble. Um, after all the dead by Black Sabbath, and this really resembles this love by Pantera, but I still love them anyway.